Hey there, dirt bike people. I'm Chuck from True Tech, and today I'm gonna to be fixing the oil check bolt on a modern KTM. This is a super common problem because people actually use their oil check bolts. You should not do that. There's like three threads in there, and if you use it on a semi-regular basis, you will strip it. It is a very stupid design. However, if this is the first time that you're learning about it, I'll show you how to fix it. This one does take a few tools and a little bit of fancy know-how, but I'll show you how to do it. The check bolt is right there and customer says it's stripped. Oh yeah. So this is a Healy coil kit, M6 by one. I got this kit on Amazon. These are actually pretty expensive. This kit was super cheap. It comes with a whole bunch of different sizes and all of the tooling that you need. These are available all over the internet. So the difficult part is drilling out that hole without getting all the shrapnel inside the clutch cover. The solution's pretty simple. Just clean drill bit, put a bunch of grease in the end. Oh, that was easy. Not much left in there. Next, I've got my tap mounted up in my drill. It's way easier than doing it with a tap handle in this case. I'm just gonna slowly thread that in. Oh, you can see it's all stuck to the end of the tap. It also doesn't hurt that there's a positive oil level in here. So anything that goes in there is coming out. And you can see that there is a little bit of stuff getting washed out of those threads there. Now I am going to lean the bike over and let this oil level get below that hole. And then I'll put the Healy coil in. All right, the oil has stopped dripping when I had the bike leaned over like this. Now I've leaned it over that way. It's a brake clean around that hole. Uh, the Healy coil can go on the little installation tool. I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite in the hole. So basically I put some Loctite in the hole and I run it in until the Healy coil is just a little bit in from flush because I want that copper washer to sit nicely against the case and seal that up. Now this is the most important and the most critical part. This little tool is designed to break the little tab off the end of the Healy coil. And if you drop that into the motor, you gotta pull the clutch cover off it. Here's that little tab. If your eyes are good, there's a little notch in it. So that little tang at the end breaks off. You gotta break that off, pull it out. I find these tools often need a little bit of modification. I actually made my own tool for that years ago and it works really well. So I just dip it in the grease. I know you're not gonna be able to see what I'm doing or feel it, but basically I'm just gonna stick this in, rotate it. There we go, I can feel that it hooked in. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wiggle. Oh, and I've waited a little bit for that Loctite to dry. So I'm putting a little bit of inward pressure and then I'm just wiggling it. Okay, it broke off. And I don't have it. I'm looking in there with my flashlight and yeah, oh, there you can see, you can see it, it's in there. I'm just gonna get this little pick tool I have and be oh so careful. There's the proof, you've seen it. I worked with a guy who used to, every time he did a Healy coil, he'd come over to one of the other techs in the shop and say, here's the proof, you're my witness, I got the tang out. I'm gonna put a new washer on there. I actually have a whole new bolt, a customer supplied it. I'm actually gonna put some Loctite on this bolt because it should never come out again. All right, lesson learned. Don't use the oil check bolt. Put in your 750 or 800 mils, it's really not that picky, it's just a transmission. Put in your oil. Good to go. Don't forget your brake spring. That can be a pain. I just get it started like that. Boom. Done. 